last night, it's about healing. So, so wag tayong healing lang healing kay Lord, di ba? Kumilos tayo. <laughs> Let's pray for it. No? So, in the second day, we're, we're gonna talk about um, about how to pray for work. Nag-iisip pa ko ng title, lakong maisip na title eh. So, <laughs> so um, I just want to share you yung, yung, some of the point of Pastor Peter. Because um, a prayer is a, the discipline of prayer, right? Because of all the spiritual, according to this, of all the spiritual disciplines, prayer is the most central because it ushers us into the presence of God. I remember that um, Jesus, right, went to set aside every time to pray. And he modeled it for us how to pray. Then Sabini Bill Bright, fasting reduces the power of self so that the Holy Spirit can do more intensive work within us. Parang yung ano yung feeling na gutom ka, di ba? Yung parang nanginginig ka na sa gutom. <laughs> and then you ask the Lord for, Lord, help. I need you right now. I need your spirit right now to overcome this hunger. Right? Then, discipline. Uh, make yourself do what you don't normally like to do in order to become what you have always wanted to be. Um, we want to be spiritual, right? We want to be more prayerful. Because sometimes in life, the busyness of life, we forget to pray. Right? So, let's do it right now. Let's practice it. Let's um, make it a habit for us to pray. Okay, so the devotion today is all about, um, you know, in our booklet, right? Um, oh, there's one more point. Um, tabirito. A fasting discipline, more than any other discipline, fasting reveals the thing that controls us, right? So, like for example, yung hunger na sinabi ko kanina, right? And then sometimes, Lord, Gusto ko na mag-Facebook. Gusto ko na buksan si Instagram. Ang daming ano, ang daming notification. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 hindi yung saya ba? <laughs> so, um, it, it really shows what controls us, right? So, that's why we need to ask Lord help how to overcome our, ano ba niyo, wants? Diba? So, Let's go to our devotion for today. So let's read um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9 to 12. Can we all read? Begin. Of the brethren, you have no need for anyone to write to you. For you yourselves are taught by God. For indeed you do practice it toward all the brethren in all Bethlehem. But we urge you, brethren, to excel still more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and attend to your own business and work with your hands just as we commanded you so that you will behave properly towards and not be in any need. Praise God for his word. So, makikita mo natin we can see this um, on First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9. Diba? Paul was giving us an encouragement. Have you seen this verse? Now as to the love of the brethren, you have no need for anyone to write to you. Why? For you yourselves are taught by who? By God to love one another. That's an encouragement from Paul because he knows that for us Christians are doing it. Macedon, um, Thessalonians are doing it. In loving their own, in loving, loving people, not just their own, right? And then, yun nga, in the emphasis niya pa dun, for indeed you practice it toward all the brethren. Are we doing that? Are we loving our brethren outside our family? Right? <laughs> so, and of course, especially right now, because our topic today is work. Are we loving our coworkers? And for students, are you loving your classmate? Or are you loving your instructor that's giving you a hard time? It depends. <laughs> so if you think about it, 
one distinguishing mark of a Christian is a loving Christian, right? Sabi sa 1 John chapter 4, 7, 9, Beloved, let us love one another for love is from God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God for God is love. By this, the love of God was manifested in us that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we may live through Him. Right? So it is a distinguishing factor for us Christians to love one another. And of course, in the church, it's not just the programs, it's just the, the smooth praise and worship, it's not the building or songs, and it's not the pastors or the sermons that they prepare, okay? Non-believers will see who you are in your character, right? In how you love others. For example, may non-believer pumasok, ano gagawin nyo? Bala ka dyan mag-isa, di ba? Siyempre, may asher tayo, you say hi, di ba? You smile. Right? And if, if you see that when we read the last verse for this um, book, and this is the commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. Do we love God? So kailangan, mahalin natin sila. Mahalin natin mga kaibigan at trabaho natin, di ba? Ang family natin. So let's continue. So next, uh, on the next verses, uh, Paul gives us an instruction, right? He gives instruction to Thessalonica or to uh, Christians. But we urge you, brethren, to excel still more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and attend to your own business and work with your hands just as we commanded you so that you will behave properly toward outsides, outsiders and not be in any need. See, um, Paul says urge. What's the meaning of urge? Sino Encourage. Encourage, right? Um, sabi nga ni, ni Mr. Google, earnestly. Or try to persi- persistently. Di ba? Or, sh- or we should have those strong desire, right? So, strong desire to, ex- to what? To excel still more? To make it your ambition to lead a quiet life? And attend to your own business and work with your hands, right? So, yan yung in-urge ni Paul sa atin. So, again, so for the four, four instructions in urgency, with the urgency ni Paul is excel still more, make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, attend to your own business, and work with your hands. And again, with urgency. So how do we excel still more? So of course, excel still more, especially for us um, employee and students. Wow, nakikis student. <laughs> student, we need to excel more sa ating mga trabaho, di ba? Um, sa ating studies. Kailangan di ka maging complacent. Bakit? Kasi sometimes you don't know that there's more coming in, especially sa mga Actually, yung mga, mga ano nga, matatalino, they study more pa nga, di ba? So that uh, they, can, and, they can have those good grades or highest grade, di ba? For us Christians, we should not stop. We should stop being complacent. We need to push ourselves to keep better, to going better. As you can see, Christian leaders today, kahit naman sa atin, di ba? Um, pastors and other leaders, we still study the Word of God. Kasi marami pang dating matututunan sa salita ng Diyos. And of course, in the same way, in, a, in every day of our life, in our work, we need to excel. For example, you're done with your duty. Ano gagawin mo? Labado. <laughs> ano gagawin mo? Right? You need to help others as well. Right? Because sometimes when you help others, you learn who, how they do things. Right? Sabi nga din sa a quoting that I, I read while I'm doing this, excel still more. Do well but don't be satisfied with doing well. Push yourself to keep 
to be better. Right? Push lang. Push lang natin. Because God has something better for us. Right? And then again, on the second one, Paul is urging us again, on the second point, make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. What is quiet life? Punta lang sa gilid. <laughs> Makaupo ka lang, tahimik ka lang doon. Di, di ba? So, ambition. Sino mga may ambition? Lahat naman tayo meron, di ba? Mga lahat naman tayo. So, so, for the ambition, we believers are to have ambition, right? But of course, this ambition is different from the worldview of ambition. Like, power, career, position, money, achievements, which is the driving force right now in the world. Am I right? If you think about it, uh, ambitious pushes us to our goals, right? But for us believers, our ambition is the calling of God, our purpose, right? And then, but for us believers, our ambition is the calling that God gives us, our purpose, to serve, to know, and obey God. Makikita natin, di ba, sa mission ng CCF? Ang mission ng CCF, to honor God and make Christ community follower who will make Christ committed follower. And, it's the, and, it, and then again, that is our purpose as well, right? To know God, right? Christians don't look for work. I, I, I got this quote from CCF Alabang from their message for day two as well. And it struck me because, oh, thank you. Because of course, sometimes we look for purpose in our work, right? And then again, we forget that we're already Christian and we have found our purpose already. And that's in knowing Christ, right? Christians don't, know, don't look for work to find purpose. Christians pour their purpose into their work. Nice, eh? So whatever our purpose with God, let's pour it out in our work. And you will see the difference. And the third one, again, Paul is urging us to attend to your own business. Sino ba yung to your own business na yan? Yan ba si Marites? <laughs> Mga Marites dyan. <laughs> so Paul is urging us to attend to our own business. Which is, if you think about it, it's related to a quiet life. We tend to busy ourselves from getting with, into others' Others' life, others, uh, others' business, right? God does not want us to be to busy ourselves in being nosy to other people's life. We meddle. Sometimes we meddle in their in, in their affair. Um, for example, um, for example, as leaders, sometimes pag minarinig tayo na na parang naghihingi ng suggestions, minsan dito pa nakagad, eh. di ba? You're giving out suggestions. Pero hindi mo tinanong kung kailangan yung suggestion mo. Di ba? <laughs> and of course, sometimes we also think about what the others think about ourselves. Right? Most of the time yan. Especially for younger generation. Ano yung susutin ko? Bukas. What clothes should I wear? What should the people think about me when I wear this? Or if I say something... If I did something out of ordinary, what will people think about me, right? So we should not be concerned on what others are thinking. Because often at work, we tend to, sometimes because we, we tend everything to do things para sa reward, di ba? And we tend, and we forgot that the reward, we already have it. Because um, again, to attend to your own business, do not live your life to please others. Are we living our life to please others? Yung binata ko, ganun eh. Makiki-join ka. Pag ang uso ngayon is um, rock and roll. Shoot ka ng Chuck Taylor at green jeans. Diba? The next year, hip-hop naman. Hip-hop naman ang suot. <laughs> uso pa ba hip-hop ngayon? Lumalabas yung edad ko. <laughs> So let us read 
this, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 20 to 24. Whatever you do, do you work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord's Christ whom you serve. So see, we have the reward already. Next, of course, we need to stop or cease to be being busy body. And we're busy body. Because we tend to busy ourselves from getting into others' business ngayon sinabi ko kanina. And God wants us, does not want us to busy ourselves in being nosy nga into others. Kaya dapat meron tayong thin line in overstepping our help. Diba? Or if you have those um, chance, ask them if you need their suggestion. Nilagay ko rito, wag pabida. Minsan we have minsan we have those tendency na ano di ba? Kailangan bida ka. Sabi sa makikita natin sa Second Thessalonians 11:13, for we hear that some among you are leading an undisciplined life, going no work at all, but act, acting like busy bodies. Now such per, such persons we persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to work in quiet fashion and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary of doing good. This is the second letter f- from Paul. And see what happens also in Thessalonica, right? Even after Paul is urging them, it still happens to them. So be, let's us be careful and help each other. Okay, next is Paul is urging us to work with your hands. So work with your hands. Ano ba work with your hands? Kailangan ba manual labor? Pwede, di ba? Pero syempre, pwede rin yung mga work from home, di ba? At least yung trabaho ka, hindi yung naghihintay ka ng, ano, ng rasyon sa gobyerno. Di ba? It's, and as you can see, it's all, it's biblical. Right? In the, ano pa lang yan, sa creation pa lang. Di ba? God mandate the believers that they should be working. Sabi sa Genesis chapter 2 verse 15, Then the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and keep it. Right? Sometimes we have a negative view of work. No? But on this verse, we see that it's God's plan for us to work. If you don't want to work, it is because you're lazy. And then, of course, and as, as adults as well, we are not above hard work. And not only should we be willing to, para magsipag, to roll up our sleeves and put it in a good day's work. And of course, we should not look down to those people who do manual labor, right? Kaya lang dito, yung manual labor dito, mas malaki sahod. <laughs> it's really different, you know, the scenario from Philippines and Canada, right? In addition, uh, it says to work with your hands. Um, we need to also teach our kids to work, right? Um, we need to teach them how to wash dishes, asimula, how to prepare table, because from then on they will understand that they need to work, right? That's why we need to teach them so that we can value, so that they know how to value work as well. And instilling into them the importance of working with their own hands. Okay, for the last part, um, so verse 12, so that you will behave properly towards outsiders and not be in any need. Um, because what those four points are some principles in the Christian life, right? They show us how we should treat others and they should show us how to live in a life of contentment without any need. And God wants us to share that to other people around us. God wants to share those quality of a Christian to the people around us, to our work, to our school, even outside, just outside here. Outside here, labas ko, wala tao. <laughs> Sa Pilipinas, di ba, pag labas mo, madaming tao. You know? So, just outside, when you're going out to the mall, 
yung pagbukas mo pala ng pinto sa mga tao, yung pag letting them sit down on your ano yung mga may edad sa mga sa sa bus. It's one way of showing them who you are, eh. diba? So, whatever characteristics that we have, let's continue to um, for those four points, let's dress it up and show it to the world so that we can win people through Christ. When we conduct ourselves according to his calling, we become visible and tangible examples of Christ's love and compassion wherever we are. So, share ko lang only itong isa. The quote that I've, that's really struck me. Christians don't look for work to find purpose. Christians pour their purpose into work. So again, if you don't know your purpose, we tend to forget, diba? we tend to find our own purpose in life and in work. So, know your purpose. To know and love God through Jesus Christ and his word. To build up and prepare the church. To grow the church by sharing Jesus with others. And then, to remind us again of those four points, I created an acronym. Humabol pa yung acronym ko, no? Sayang eh, hindi bumaba yung E sa baba eh, para si CF Edmonton eh, no? <laughs> so E, be exceptional. Be excellent, right? Go over and above of your work, of your studies. C, be committed. Committed on your ambition. Committed on your purpose with Christ. C, cease or stop being nosy and busybody. Huwag po tayo maging marites. Or huwag tayo makialam, di ba? And F, nahirapan ako rito, be functional. <laughs> Kasi kailangan natin, ano, you have two hands, you have two feet. Be functional, don't be lazy, work. Right? And again, salamat po. <laughs> Thank you everyone.